We're making the world's laziest low calorie pizza for weight loss. And we're gonna be comparing that to Domino's pizza. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download the Domino's app. I'm gonna order my pizza. I am going to be getting a pizza very similar to the pizza that I'm making today called the Memphis barbecue chicken. So now that our pizza's coming, let's see how long this takes with Domino's. Now, as I was preparing for this particular video, what I decided to do was see what were other people doing for healthy pizza recipe. And I think the internet's lost their mind. I'll give you an example. So one of the top videos when it comes to low calorie pizza, six healthy pizza recipes for weight loss is what the video is called. First recipe, they're using carrots as the crust. It's like, don't knock it till you try it. I get that kind of thing, but carrots for a crust? I mean, come on. And then when I went to go add up the entire calories for a whole pizza, it ends up being 720 calories for the pizza. The pizza that I'm gonna show you today is under 600 calories and it doesn't use any vegetables for crust. It uses bread. If you're watching this video, you see this isn't really pizza. This is just a vegetable crust with more vegetables on top. It's just a pizza shaped vegetable. Listen, I'm sure it tastes fine and it's probably very healthy for you and it's satiating but that's not pizza. You gotta call a spade a spade. It's not pizza. So then I went to one of my doctors, Mr. Berg, and here's what Dr. Berg had to say. This is an, a cruciferous pizza. You can um, have it as much as you want, um, and it's actually very, very healthy for you. So let me show you exactly how to make this, and just so you know, you can have this as much as you want. It will not cause weight gain. So let's show you how to make it. I can have this Dr. Bird world's healthiest pizza as much as I want and I will not gain weight. Let's see about that. So I went and I added up all the ingredients, total calories, given everything he showed in the video, is 1,267 calories. And according to Dr. Berg, I can eat this as much as I want and I will not gain weight. Dr. Berg. I don't think Dr. Berg knows how big my appetite is. I can eat a lot. Considering that 3.1 million people have seen this video, I wonder how many people are eating as much of this pizza as they want and getting chubbier. And that breaks my heart because you could just be eating Domino's pizza and getting chubbier. Why be eating this cauliflower pizza recipe as he shows? So let's I take a look take at what he shows. I would take out the big chunks that didn't really scrape in there. And we're just gonna take two cups of this cauliflower, two cups in a bowl. The crust alone in this pizza recipe it's like 770 calories. 770 calories for a cauliflower crust. My point here is that it's important when you look at these videos, even by doctors like Mr. Berg, it's important to be skeptical, look at the total calories and ask yourself, hmm, do I really wanna be eating vegetable crust pizza or do I really wanna be eating actual regular pizza? We're gonna compare how much pizza you can get using my recipe versus a Domino's recipe, and then you can tell me which one you're more likely to feel full on, feel satiated on, and therefore more likely to stick to your calorie deficit, because as we know, at the end of the day, the only one true factual thing that causes weight loss is being a calorie deficit. Let's get into the recipe. I know that the bros on TikTok are all over this recipe, but I'm gonna show you how I make it specifically because I am a barbecue pizza kind of girl. For our crust, we're gonna be using Joseph's Lavish bread. This piece of flatbread is about 140 to 150 calories. This is another flatbread you can use. It's thicker, so if you like more of a thicker crust, use this flatbread, or it's already moldy. Shows you how much I use this flatbread. So this flatbread, if you can compare this flatbread to this flatbread, this is gonna give you a thinner crust, this is gonna give you a thinner crust. Next ingredient that we're gonna need is any kind of 20 to 25 calorie tomato sauce. For the macros I've listed for this particular recipe, we're using just this basic Hunt's 20 calorie tomato sauce. Be aware of how many grams of sugar. This one has two grams per serving. We're gonna be adding spinach to our pizza. I promise you, if you're not a spinach fan, you're not even gonna freaking taste it. We're gonna be adding mushrooms to our pizza. I love my barbecue pizza with some onion. I usually like more of a red onion. All I had was white. We're also gonna be using some type of garlic powder. This is key when it comes to this particular recipe. Don't skip on this. To make it barbecue-y, what we're gonna be using is Kinder's Zero Sugar Barbecue Sauce. Then you want some oil spray. Okay, for our cheese, we're gonna be adding a half a serving 
of this fat-free cheddar, a half a serving of this reduced fat Mexican style cheese blend. We're gonna be using two full servings of fat-free mozzarella and we're gonna be using fresh sliced mozzarella. Included in the total macros for this recipe is a two tablespoons of ranch dressing from Boathouse Farms. We're gonna be adding in four ounces of chicken. Since protein, lean protein is really the hardest to make, it takes the most time. You always want that stuff in your fridge and ready to go. Let's go over to the kitchen. So the first thing I did is I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Then what I'm gonna do is spray the aluminum foil on your pan. So we're gonna put our flatbread on top like so. So as you can see, it's just like a little bit crispy. Really important step to just toast your crust lightly. Then what we're doing is we're adding about 100 grams of our tomato sauce. I can really eyeball it at this point. We're gonna smooth that around. Then we're gonna be adding one, actually two tablespoons of this. I can also just really eyeball this. This is what's gonna give it that barbecue flavor. Then a lot of people say here to add like Italian seasoning and oregano, and I think that actually tastes really gross with the barbecue flavor. This is why I recommend the garlic powder that I do. Putting a little bit of garlic on it really adds to the flavor for me. Here's a key step. We put the vegetables on first because we wanna hide the vegetables under the cheese. I know, genius. Because if you are someone that doesn't really like vegetables very much, the idea of vegetables on your pizza might not be that appealing. Kind of place our onions on here. Then we're just gonna take a handful of spinach and we're gonna just kind of break it apart. This is what's gonna make you feel full and you're not even gonna taste it, it's great. Then we're gonna start adding our cheese. Just try and sprinkle it all around, get an even mixture. The thing about fat-free cheese is that it obviously doesn't taste as good as full fat cheese, but you can mix it with full fat cheese like we're doing here to get those pops of flavor, but then you still get the volume of cheese so that your brain thinks you're eating actual pizza. Like if I know that I'm eating carrot pizza, like I'm, I'm upset. So we're just finishing sprinkling in our cheese. Then we're gonna be taking an ounce of our full fat mozzarella. Really adds to the flavor of this. The barbecue and the fresh mozzarella is awesome. We're gonna be doing an ounce of this. So we're just trying to get like even pieces of mozzarella. Is that good to go? I think that's good to go. I, I just realized I forgot to add chicken to my pizza. So we're gonna add that right now. Excuse the mom brain for a second. So let me just add some chicken. So this is what our pizza looks like before it goes into the oven. I'm gonna do about five-ish minutes and just kind of watch it from there. If you, you're gonna have to kind of time it with your oven, but five minutes really works for me. Ooh, it looks like I'm flexing. This took me a solid five to seven minutes to make. Looks pretty good. And we're still waiting on our Domino's pizza. The bell's ringing, Domino's is here. So it took um, about 55 minutes to arrive. Hello? Hi, this is Domino's, I'm here. I'm buzzing you in. Okay, so both pizzas have arrived. If I wanted to just eat this pizza, I would only be able to eat two slices about of this pizza, or I could eat the whole entire pizza of this. To be clear, I'm a grown ass woman and I can eat as much pizza as I want, whenever I want. And you're a grown ass human being and you can make your own decisions too. I'm just talking about calorie for calorie, what you get, okay? Really, at the end of the day, we know the most important thing is taste. I'm gonna go for the Domino's first. Mmm, okay, that's pretty good. Let's go for my pizza. You guys, it's not better than the Domino's pizza, but it's a contender. It was really good. Like, I'll give you one thing though. The bread for sure makes this bomb. I'm a cool mom. But if you know that you can't order this Domino's pizza and just have slices, this is your way to go. Go for this pizza. It's significantly cheaper. It took like, what, 10 minutes for me to make? Not even. This is great though. There's not even chicken on this. I was told there would be chicken. Do you see chicken on this? I don't see chicken on this. There's a chicken. There's this one over here. They definitely didn't send me the right pizza. I'm not mad about it, it's still good. So I didn't even dip it in ranch. This one I couldn't dip in ranch. So this is my bite. Pretty good. I'm gonna dip it in my ranch sauce here. 
Man, I don't know. I like, I'm really trying to not be biased here. This one is a contender. The other important point to consider about my entire pizza strategy is that if you look at all those other low calorie recipes on YouTube and elsewhere, those all require food processors and other plates and doing more dishes. There's no dishes here. You just throw away this tin foil and you're done. So all in all, from a diet perspective, here's the conclusion. Can you still order Domino's and eat Domino's and lose weight, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with eating pizza. The point is, is that if you want to lose weight, you just gotta be able to fit the pizza in your calorie deficit. For example, for me, if I were to work this particular, my homemade pizza into my daily calorie intake, and let's say for whatever reason, one day I was like, you know what, I'm sick of my homemade pizza, I want the real deal. I could have two of these slices from Domino's. Now, would I have a hard time feeling full in a calorie deficit with just two slices of pizza? Probably, but also I would have a hard time not eating a third or fourth slice. So there's that to consider. There's also to consider the cost of this, the time it took for it to get here if I'm really hungry. So all things considered for weight loss purposes, I'm gonna say my pizza wins. Eh, you know, now that I think about it, I think it's really a tie because the Domino's pizza is superior. I mean like real pizza, you just can't beat it. If you're somebody that really loves pizza and you're trying to lose fat or maintain weight, or this is a really great recipe that you should absolutely try to fit in your daily diet because you're just not going to feel as full on Domino's. You're not going to get as much protein. It's going to be higher in fat. Just just gonna be really hard. The point of this video was to say, you know what? Don't demonize pizza. There's nothing wrong with pizza. Carrot crust isn't pizza. That's vegetables. People need to be less confused. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe. If you have video ideas, anything to say, comment below anything you want. You guys know I love you. You've got this and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. I love you.